My name is Lonzie Edwards, and uh, I'm proud to serve as pastor of the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church uh, right here in East Macon. Rightfully come to the conclusion that he recently paid five, paid 500 miles of roads in every corner of Bibb County, and that he had personally laid the, the asphalt. But for the past 20 years, Jeffersonville Road has been badly in need of repairs, which is why I, along with my colleagues on the Bibb County Board of Commissioners and Senator David Lucas, successfully fought long and hard uh, for this project. The intersection up the road. Um, several hundred uh, yards up the road, was recently uh, repaid um, with the support of Commissioner Shepard, um, Commissioner Elaine Lucas, uh, and their fellow commissioners. Representative Beverly was in on none of those meetings. Representative Beverly did not cast a signed vote or a vote of any kind on this issue. Representative Beverly did not secure the funding for the project. In fact, after an open records request, which I submitted to the Department of Transportation, uh, Rep Representative Beverly's name, including any emails or petitions, shows up in the file a grand total of zero times. Where I come from, that kind of political stunt is called taking credit for the work of others. There are also less kind terms for it. As someone who was proud to be elected to public office twice in this community, and both times as a Democrat, I know your word means everything. And once again, Representative Beverly has proven to us that we can't trust his. Today, we call on Representative Beverly to set the record straight. Macon Bibb families deserve better than what they're getting from Representative Beverly. I will be proud to serve this community and do everything I can to fight every day to improve total quality of life in this community for all the people of uh, not only East Bibb County, but every other part of this community. Thank you all for being here. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, but first, before I do that, I want to introduce to you uh, Commissioner Scotty Shepard and Commissioner Elaine Lucas. Uh, they know the history of this work on the intersection of the road there. They also know the history of Jeffersonville Road and how we got to where we are. And I'm going to just defer to them, whichever one would like to go first, to, to tell us how the work got done. And also to address the question, there's a, there's a photograph uh, where uh, my opponent is basically representing to the community that, that he repaved Jeffersonville Road, <laughs> that he repaved uh, the intersection, and also with him in a Michael Dukakis type pose, sitting on a piece of paving equipment. And the whole object of it uh, is nothing but a stunt to deceive people and to make them think that he's doing something for this community, which he simply has not done. The truth is, he has no record of accomplishment, and so he's having to use other folks' records, other folks' work, including the work of these two commissioners, to try to deceive people in this community into voting uh, for him to go back to Atlanta. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, the record needs to be uh, set straight. Uh, Lonzie Edwards, Sam Hart, and David Lucas were responsible for the work that's being done as we speak on Jeffersonville and Millerfield Road. That's the bottom line. And anyone, how dare anyone else try and take credit for it? Uh, we as commissioners voted, I think about a month and a half ago, 
to do the improvements, the temporary fixes for Jeffersonville Road, that intersection there across Keynes. We have turned that particular request in a number of times, and it's been repaired on a temporary basis a number of times. So that's kind of a routine fix for that very bad intersection. But the major work, the heavy lifting on this project was done by Lonzi Edwards, while he was commissioner, I commissioner, by Commissioner Sam Hart and Senator David Lewis. I don't have anything to add to that because she lives out here and he lives out here and preaches out here. And, and they've seen the, the work done. They saw it being done. And they know who was responsible for doing it. And so uh, my part has been after the fact and, and in supporting them to get these intersections done. And they've been needed so, so long. It's terrible. records request that we submitted to DOT. We asked, he uh, was quoted in the newspaper um, as saying that uh, he had walked the streets out here, compiled a petition, submitted it to DOT, and because of that, uh, he was able, he claimed, to get that intersection to be paid. Well, I decided to do an open records request, and I have a copy of it here that I'll give you. Uh, DOT responded by saying they had no such petition. Um, and in addition, I have the contracts that uh, we got signed uh, with DOT. And if you look closely, you'll see some stakes with, with flags on them. Um, the right-of-way acquisition process has already started, and it's a direct result of the work that we did on the commission that he's now trying to claim credit for. So I have the documents I'll give you to support the uh, story. And all three of you are very passionate about this. Uh, just talk about why it's so important to get 